Hi, I'm Tava. I'm Devi. Uh, we are from Passion Home the SG. We run three marketplace stores and one but small store in Lazada. We sell mostly home and living products. Recently, we started selling uh, sports bags and looking at entering the mother and care baby market. We have been selling on Lazada for the last four years and we have been doing this full time for the last two years. Our journey started about seven years ago by selling completely different products uh, from what we are doing now. So one thing we, we have observed while doing it, right, over the years and over the months, right, every single month our sales keep dropping. We're trying to figure out what was it that we are doing wrong. So we started uh, being around the stores more and observing how people are actually shopping. Then this is what we realised, that customers actually they take the product, they actually touch and feel, uh, understand how the product works. But after that, right, they put it on the shelf and then they buy from an online platform like Lazada. That was a wake-up call for us and that's when we decided, okay, while we have our own website and stuff, we need to start looking at marketplaces and that's how our journey with Lazada started. Many people have this idea that selling online is very easy. The truth is that getting started is very easy, but to be successful or to stabilize your business right on online, it takes about two to three years. So during our first two years, we had to juggle uh, between our full-time job and also come back home the, uh, in the evening and work through late to the night to develop our, our online business. So uh, it has been a challenge. Uh, so when we started, we started off very small, operating from home. And then as things, uh, things started to grow and expand, then we moved to this warehouse and started hiring workers and all. One of the biggest challenges we had was the circuit breaker period where we had a lot of orders but the issue was we didn't have um, workers with us so we had this um, rule where we can only have uh, two workers working so we had uh, a very hard time just uh, Tawa and myself managing all the packing, the day-to-day -day operations so it was, was a time for us to actually optimise our packing procedure Circuit Breaker was really the time where we, we, we looked at this procedure and then we optimised, we brought in uh, cameras. So now our workers don't use, um, they, they don't take photo at all. So they will just um, pack the items and then they will actually scan the barcode which uh, gives a timestamp. So if let's say we need to look back at uh, our footage, we can actually uh, do a matching of the timestamp with the barcode and the footage of the camera. So that helped us to do things a lot faster. The, the circuit breaker was good in a way that we managed to make things better and more efficient now. One of the things that we do in our company is that uh, we try to be experts of products. So one way that we achieve this is we actually use these products uh, either at home or in office. So uh, by using it for like one, two weeks before we actually start selling on Lazada, right? we know the product inside out. And more importantly, we also know the limitations of the product. So when customers uh, talk to us on live chat, uh, we are able to give them a realistic uh, expectation of what they can expect from the product. So after using the product for two weeks, uh, we may decide that actually we do not want to sell this product because it may be inferior or it may have some problems. So we don't let customer have that negative experience. And uh, this way, actually, we are able to maintain a very high uh, positive seller rating. Actually, I think right now we have about 98% positive seller rating. So there are two aspects that they support us. There's the direct approach, which is like the organizing of uh, seller training sessions. So when we first started out selling in Lazada, uh, I think we attended almost uh, every every training session that were available to us. Uh, we attended together and separately as well. So this allows us to better understand the tools and how to maximize the benefit out of it. Then there's also the um, Facebook community that Lazada has created, which I thought was quite a bold move uh, because you're putting all the sellers together. There's, there's a lot of uh, positive and negative that comes out of it, but I think in the end, they've created a very vibrant community that uh, sellers like myself can help fellow sellers. And also, of course, there are also Lazada staff in the community and they also chip in a lot of help. Previously, before the circuit breaker, we used to have uh, seller gatherings like once a month. So we actually look forward to going for it because we can actually interact with other sellers uh, who actually have similar ideas like us and then we learn a lot from them. So it was through these seller gatherings that we got to know um, each time we went, we got to know new things from there. But I think now after the circuit breaker, I think Lazada is still in touch with us through the online seller gatherings which is still useful for us. It's more of an opportunity for us to give back to the community because when we first started uh, 2017, we were actually kind of struggling uh, trying to get our footing right and actually it's our senior seller ambassadors that really uh, inspired us and also guided us uh, through the initial baby steps. 
So when the opportunity came uh, for us to be SM ambassadors, I mean, we, we took it as an opportunity to give back to the community. But of course, I uh, talk about benefits. Uh, as a SM ambassador, we get uh, opportunities to uh, test drive some new functions and features uh, that Lazada rolls out quite, quite often. We get to be the first to experience uh, any bugs and stuff. But it's, it's good because it, it helps us uh, give feedback to Lazada and then they take it uh, and improve their system before they actually roll it out. And uh, also, uh, I think recently we were given the opportunity to participate in the last live live stream. And it was quite big for us because we've always wanted to do more video content. Uh, and, and we are not there yet, but at least uh, these opportunities really pushed us to make more video content. And I think from the last uh, two live streams, we got, got about 300, 400 new followers to our store. So I thought that's pretty, uh, pretty effective. Yeah, I think mainly focus on getting good reviews. So I think um, Lazada even have templates where you can give uh, thank you cards to them yeah. and asking them to write reviews. So I think it's good to actually use these kind of uh, templates that are really there for you. So it help you grow your, your reviews and that will actually get uh, customers to actually look at your products more. Yeah, I think when you're starting out, uh, even if your price is cheaper than your competitors, right, it may not necessarily lead to more sales to, to even to begin with. So uh, whatever sales you get, try to get uh, good reviews from your customer, encourage them, uh, motivate them as, as well. You can give free gifts and stuff. And just remember, uh, this is not a spring. Okay? I, like when we started, uh, we thought, I mean, it's not a get rich quick scheme. Uh, you really have to uh, put in a lot of time and hard work to it. So I would say uh, it's like a marathon, you give yourself two to three years to grow sustainably.